Hey guys, it's Max from Trust Reviews and we're here with the just announced LG V30 and we're going to take a look at it and take it out of the box. So this doesn't replace the G6, it sort of is LG's sort of higher end line, a bit like the Note is to Samsung's Galaxy S8 line. And yeah, let's take this out. Taking out of the box, you can immediately tell it feels very light. And you know, the size feels really good. They talked a lot in their, in their briefing about how they're more fussed about it feeling good rather than looking really different. And I think, you know, they've, they've done really well. It does feel really nice to hold. Got a yeah, typical charger, USB-C cable. And in here should be a nice little pair of B&O headphones. This V30 is the first V-Series phone that's coming to, coming to the UK. So, I mean, as you can probably guess with it being a flagship, this is full of high-end stuff. There's a Snapdragon 835 in there. There's a fingerprint scanner on the back. Inside is a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. Um, there you go. So really the big thing about this display, apart from the sort of really slim bezel around the side, is that this is the first flagship LG phone to use an, an OLED display. Now, LG have sort of put out really good OLED TVs in the past, and it's sort of been a surprise they've not brought it to a phone yet. This is a six inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED display. First impressions, you know, it looks really good. AMOLED, so you get your, your deep blacks and your vivid colors, and you know, it looks really, really nice. So immediately turning it on, you can see LG's UX hasn't changed much from the G6. It's one of probably my least favorite UIs, Android UIs, but you know, it's fine and you can, you can cover most of it up. But not a lot has changed here. It's still running Android 7. So compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, you know, it's noticeably sort of shorter. You can see that. Obviously this has a 6.3 inch screen versus a six inch screen. Both really good looking phones. I think LG have really, really stepped up the game with design here. The G6 did look nice, but I think this is a massive step forward. So on the back, you've got two cameras, like the majority of flagships these days. One is a 60 megapixel f1.6 lens, which is a you know a really wide aperture that should be really good in low light. And the other is a 30 megapixel wide angle sensor. That's a, got a 120 degree field of view, great for landscapes. The LG is really playing up its sort of video recording capabilities with this. So this is the first phone that LG is shipping that records video in a new file format that it's calling LG CineLog. So this is similar to sort of what high-end cameras can record video in and basically it lets you add effects and filters over the top of your footage to give it that sort of more cinematic look. So here you can see some of the sort of filters they've built in as a sort of blockbuster with that sort of dark look, a beauty mode that boosts the colors a bit. So another one of their big focuses is on audio. So there's a quad DAC in here, and if it sounds like the quad DAC in the LG G6, then it's easily the best sounding phone that I've used. So obviously I need a lot more time with the LG V30 to see if it's you know, really a rival to all the new flagships that are coming out now. But first impressions, you know, it's really nice. Really nice display, that sort of in-between size, I think, I think will suit it really well. High-end specs, obviously. Hopefully the camera's you know, a little bit better than G6. So this will be out in September. We've not got pricing yet, but it will be coming to Europe and the UK, which is you know, first for the V-Series. So let's hope it sells a little bit better than G6 did. Stay tuned for us reviews for more. We'll be at E for a week with loads of hands-on videos and more.